Marjorie Old. I'm honored that you've allowed me to be part of your yoga practice. I've selected poses for you that I have found to be accessible to most bodies and that feel good to most bodies. As I demonstrate poses to you, there may be moments where you'll notice that I have limitations in my range of motion. This is due mostly to a congenital curvature of my spine and two spinal surgeries. If you have limitations due to size, injuries, surgeries, or even from other physical activities, let those moments remind you to also work to your level. Bring your arms alongside your body with the palms facing up and lower your head so your forehead rests on the floor. As you inhale, lift up your head, neck, and shoulders and reach back with your fingers. Keep the back of your neck long so that as you lower, you rest on your forehead again. On your next inhale, repeat this movement, lifting up head, neck, shoulders, and extending back through the fingers, and then lowering as you exhale. Repeat this movement at the rate of your breath. If you're feeling strong in this movement, add your legs. So as you inhale, press down through your pelvis, lift up your head, neck, shoulders, and legs. This flow is great for strengthening your back, which will help with your posture and may help with back soreness. The next time you lower you to the ground, bring your arms up and make a pillow with your hands. Turn your head to one side to rest on your hands. Bring your toes wider than your heels so that you're resting on the inside of your legs and feet. Let your back rest for a couple of breaths. Bring your knees and toes back together. Release your arms out to the side so you can lower your head and rest your forehead on the floor again. Bend your arms like a cactus and let them rest on the floor at shoulder height. And this flow will lift opposite arms and legs. We'll start with your right arm and left leg. Exhale, and as you inhale, lift up the right arm and left leg. And exhale as you lower. On the next inhale, lift up your left arm and right leg. Exhale as you lower. Continue this movement, letting your breath guide you. If you feel like you have to hold your breath when you lift, don't lift quite as high. Keep your gaze low so your neck stays long and you come to rest on your forehead in between each lift. After the next time you lift your left arm and right leg, lower and then make a pillow with your hands, resting your head on the side. Bring your toes out wider than your heels and let your back rest from all the strength you've built. Widen your knees and bring your big toes together. Walk your hands out in front of you as you lower your torso to the ground and draw your hips back towards your ankles for child's pose. Rest on the center of your forehead. If your head does not meet the floor, rest your forehead on stacked fists. <laughs> 